Josh Berry filling in for Chase Elliott here in the number nine. You bring it home in the top ten at Phoenix. Hendrick, obviously with the cars to beat this weekend, what more did you need there at the end? I don't know, just some experience probably. I mean, uh, now this group did a great job. We had a great week preparing for this and just trying to get more acclimated with this next-gen car. And we fought all day. You know, we just, you know, each run was a little bit different. I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm trying to learn how the car, you know, how the car drives over the course of the long run, you know, what adjustments I need to tell them to make to be better. I think we kind of were back and forth on some adjustments but and, and got a lot better there at the end. So, um, obviously, it was, uh, you know, this restarts helped at the end. I think we were going to finish 15th, 16th, somewhere in there before that. But the restarts, we had a couple good ones and got a top 10. That's pretty amazing. Obviously, this whirlwind started last week in Vegas for you. A ton of media eyes, a ton of coverage. But... Alan Gustafson said that this week was very different and that the difference that a week can make is incredible. So what have you felt just as being the driver of this number nine? Yeah, I mean, I just, it was so nice to have a chance to, you know, work with this group and get to know them a little bit better, uh, do some stuff in the simulator, you know, just be at Hendrick Motorsports, be around this group. And then obviously to know that, you know, I'm going to run all the ovals uh, is definitely a little bit of ease of mind that I'm not, you know, necessarily, you know, racing for my life out here. I got at least got a few more. Depending, you know, we want we want Chase to get back. This is his this is his ride. But you know, if we can run a couple more times, it'll be a great experience for me. Josh Berry with a top ten finish here at Phoenix. He'll head to Atlanta in the nine next week.